be ready 5 seconds hobbies are pursuits of spare time they are followed when people are free from their routine occupational work hobbies are for pleasure recreation and mental refreshment thus a hobby is totally different from an occupation an occupation is a source of income and sustenance one earns one's bread and butter by following some trade or occupation but hobbies are followed in spare time for their own sake they are gainful but not in an economic sense they are never a source of earning money that is why what might be an occupation for you might be a hobby for me you may be a professional football player but i may play football just for pleasure alone and no other consideration hobbies are essential to keep us fit refreshed and relaxed hobbies provide a welcome change and relief from routine hobbies make our leisure fruitful interesting and pleasant if there are no hobbies half the charm of the world would have been destroyed remember all work and no play makes jack a dull boy hobbies have great recreational value they save us from boredom dullness and mischief an empty mind is the devil's workshop if we are not engaged in some pleasant pursuit we are likely to indulge in some kind of mischief hobbies provide us a valuable outlet to some of our creative and aesthetic urges that is why they are so satisfying in these days of tension turmoil hectic economic activities and mad race for money hobbies have become all the more significant they can help us reduce tension fatigue and many ailments related to them one is fortunate if one has a couple of hobbies to keep oneself delightfully busy in some useful pursuit there is nothing like hobbies to relieve us from our day to day worries tension mental fatigue and routine diversions are a psychological necessity if there were no hobbies our store of energy would soon be exhausted we would become too old to work efficiently even in our young days the blessings which hobbies bestow on us are too numerous to be counted here in the limited space hobbies are good for everybody but they are a must for intellectuals and those who use their mental energies to earn their livelihood after a day's hard work hobby is a welcome and refreshing change it comes like a delightful shower after a long sultry and scorching summer really hobbies are very much rewarding they are full of excitement interest and fascination at least for a while they take our mind off some vexing problem and provide valuable mental rest and peace 
there is no compulsion of any kind in pursuing a hobby. You may proceed at your own pace and convenience. There is an endless variety in hobbies. All the world is yours to choose from. Gardening, reading, singing, playing on some musical instrument, collecting stamps, bird watching, keeping pets, collection of curios, photography, stargazing, chess playing, fishing, swimming, educating the adults, collecting autographs of eminent persons, writing, etc. are some of the well-known hobbies. You can add many more to the list. You are free to invent your own hobby. There is no restriction in it. Every hobby has its own peculiarities, charms, advantages and pleasures. There are outdoor as well as indoor hobbies. You can choose any according to your taste, duration, liking of spare time and the amount of money you can afford. You may choose gardening for your hobby. It is very interesting. You can have your own small garden full of fascinating plants, flowers, vegetables and fruit trees. It is said we are nearer to God when we are in a garden. But you would be still nearer to God by being a gardener by hobby. The ennobling effect of flowers, plants, etc. can hardly be overemphasized. But for gardening as your hobby, you must have green fingers and also piece of vacant land for the purpose, or at least a suitable terrace or roof where you can have plants and creepers in pots. These days it is very difficult to possess a vacant piece of land. If you do, you are really fortunate. Blooming flowers, their colors, sweet smells, the green of the plants, the different shapes, sizes, colors of fruits and vegetables growing on the plants soothe our nerves, restore our peace of mind and give us a lot of creative satisfaction. You tend delicate, young and growing plants with great love and care, as you would a young baby. It gives great pleasure to see plants grow gradually and then unfold all their floral beauty. Bonsai is very much in fashion these days, but to my mind it is nothing short of a cruelty. Is it not cruelty not to allow plants to grow and develop as they would do in normal conditions?